Hey folks, this is Johnny, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a basic mixing template. Now, one of the things we're not going to do in this template is we're not going to pre-create the tracks. I'm going to save that for the second part of this video series. So what we're going to do here, and you're probably like, well, then what's the point? I'll show you what the point is. Let's go to the classroom. Let's go here. Let's start. Before we actually get our template going, let's start and create a new song using the record and mix default template that Personas has. This is going to open up your new song. Now, you can see here that this song is saying, hey, I'm 44.1 and your interface is 48. Fix that, will you? <laughs> so let's go here. Let's go to song setup and make sure you're on the general tab just like that i'm going to shrink this down because i got to show you something else too there we go all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the sample rate and we're going to set it to 48 done so now you can see up here there's a uh there is no count in it just starts at one one two three two two three so what we want to do at well actually what i usually do is i like to have it started zero Go for four clicks and then go to one. So we're going to use this bar offset option. I'm going to set it to minus one. So now you can see here, if I hit apply, boom, now the one moves over here and this thing starts at zero. Very good. All right. So let's, uh, we can actually go ahead and set up our template with basic information. This is pretty much all I really want in this. And here we go to the IO setup and I like my IO setup here. You can see I've got eight audio tracks all set, and then I'm using two pairs as stereo tracks if I need them. All right, so that's okay. So you can actually set this up any way that you want to. If you watched my uh, last video, it shows you how to set up the I.O. template for all the new songs. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go click apply and okay. There we go. So we're done there. All right, let's open up the mixer and let's go ahead and start with our effects so i'm going to go to effects and i think the first effect i'm going to bring in is the usual reverb so let's see i'm just going to bring in my basic mix verb and i'm going to go up here with the i like the beat delay more so than the analog delay so i'm going to bring in the beat delay and then i'm going to go ahead and bring in a chorus there we go. So here are my basic effects right here. Now you might think this is really simple or overly simple. I can go ahead and click on each of these and select the preset. So let's see. I'm going to go with ambient natural. And of course, I don't know what these sounds like because I don't ha I don't know what these sound like because I don't have any tracks in here yet, but I'm just choosing these so that they're here for me. Go to beat delay and i like the standard delay the default one but i like it on two channel and i like it to ping pong let's see what that's gonna do yeah two channel there we go and now we're gonna go over to chorus and we're going to select uh, just an acoustic perfect all right so believe it or not this is our template so now what we want to do is we want to choose what we see what we view so we're going to keep the browser open and what we're going to do with the browser, let me actually go here. I'm going to go to files and just like that. And I'm just going to keep it like this. So every time I open up this template, it's going to go here. I don't need the instruments open and I don't need the track list open, but I do want the inspector open. Perfect. Also, I am going to want to open the arranger track because I use the arranger track. And let's see, what else do I want to use? Uh, I don't need a lyric track for this. I think I'm going to choose a second ruler. So now we have a beats ruler and we have a time-based ruler. If I choose this here, open a secondary ruler, is set to seconds. Perfect. All right. So this lets me know how long my song is and gives me the grid measurements for the beats themselves, which is what I like. All right, I'm going to keep the default tempo at 120, and I think this thing is ready to go for now. Like I said, we're just doing the basic one right now and setting up our view. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As Template, and I'm going to call this my, 
my <laughs> I gotta learn how to spell basic mix template. I think I spelled that right. There we go. My basic mix template. Boom. All set. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to go to close. And no, I don't want to save it because I already saved it as a template. So on my desktop, I already have a folder with the song that I wrote called Forgiveness. So now since all of these waveforms are labeled, watch this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to bring this up. Now I'm going to hit new. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on user and I'm going to go to my basic mix template. And so it's open. Now, this is the beautiful part of this here. I've already set up all of my views and everything I want to see. I am going to go to the desktop over here in the browser. And I am going to choose forgiveness. And here are all of my wave, for, wave files. And they are all labeled. The beauty of this is I drag them in. Boom. They are all here now. <laughs> this is really nice. I like this a lot. Because it just keeps it simple. I didn't have to pre-create tracks or anything like that. I have everything here that I need. All right. So let's do this. Let's see, I'm going to squash this down a little bit. So I do believe I have audio on all of my tracks for my song. Let me just make sure. And inside. Ooh, it's too slow. So here is here is something that I always forget to do. So I'm glad I actually did it here so that I can show you guys. If you click on any of the imported WAV files, Make sure you check to see if they have tempo data written to them. If they don't, it'll say zero. If they do, you have to make sure that you either zero out this here. I can clear the tempo or you change the tempo to the value listed here, which is 180. There. Now. <laughs> So what this gives you the ability to do is now you can change the tempo at any time because the wave files that have a locked tempo uh, file tempo will now adjust to the tempo of your song. So let's see. Yeah, everything's mono and everything's page. So let's see. Let's go to drums, bass, got the acoustics. Got the backup vocal, there's the lead vocal, and there is the guitar solo. So I usually order my tracks just like this, and I can do this. Let's see, red, I have my own mixing thing. Now, Trucky, my good friend Trucky has a colored toolbar that I'm going to add and do a demo on soon. So red, blue, yellow, because it's, it's a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. Green. And then we're going to go with orange, and the, the other two are fine. All right, so here is our song. So let's audition. Let's see. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say solo follows selection. What that gives me the ability to do is as soon as I solo a track, if I click on any other track, they automatically solo. So I don't have to unsolo and re solo. So let's try the drums. Let's try the bass. Acoustic, second acoustic, and then the solo. Here's the uh, vocal. I wanna win. I don't believe it's time. Forgiveness. I beg for forgiveness. <laughs> it's gonna sound big for all right that's gonna sound good when it's all said and done all right so there we go this is how to use a basic template how to create a basic template with just the things that you need and uh if you are getting wave files with titles you don't have to pre-create the tracks 
Now, one of the other things I want to show you guys real quick. Now, we've already done the template part, but just as kind of a little quick mix here. Let's highlight all of the audio tracks. Let's go to effects and let's bring in just something basic right now, like a channel strip. So this channel strip, you can see that it populated everything because I did a select, I did shift, and then I selected the last, it highlights them. And then anything I drag in will populate all of the selected tracks. So if we just do like a little quick mix, just something really, really simple. First thing I'm going to do with my acoustic guitars is I am going to go left and right. So let's hear how that sounds. Let's uh, solo them. Yeah, they're very low and rumbly. I didn't use a very good mic for these. All right, so uh, for this acoustic one, I'm going to open up this, and I'm immediately going to hit the low cut, drop it down. And then on the next track, I'm going to hit the low cut and drop it down. I'm just doing this randomly. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, a little too much. Nice. So let's see if I can brighten this up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Watch this. I'm actually going to remove the... I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hold shift, click on the second one, right click, and say add a bus channel. Now, see, that's one thing I could have added to my template. It would have been really easy to do, and I probably should have done that for the template. All right, so now, you know what I didn't do? I actually didn't put the track in the bus. Watch this. So let's see, we want this to go to our bus and this to go to our bus. Now I can actually go ahead and bring in the channel strip here on the bus and I can go ahead and EQ them both. Just a basic EQ, I'm not, I'm not going for a, a big sound. Beautiful. Now I have full control over those two. Let's call this the acoustic bus. So now let's go ahead and add the drums. And the bass. Now we can add the lead vocal. Oh, way. I know I've done wrong and I try to cope, but I was the fool. I was the dope. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to EQ the voice up a little bit. I'm going to turn on the low. Don't make it ever go away. I know I've done wrong and I try to cope, but I was the fool. I was the dope. Now, the cool part is I don't need a compressor on this vocal because I recorded it with a hardware compressor on the way in. Who will make it ever go away? I know I've done wrong and I try. All right, so for the backup vocal, I'm going to want it to sound similar. So I can actually go ahead on the backup vocal. I can remove that effect and I can move this over. Now I've got the same settings on both the channels. Let's see how the vocals sound together. I beg for. Let's see if I can. There we go. I beg for forgiveness. I beg for forgiveness. I beg for forgiveness. Even though I can never make up the sin of the past. Just like that. So you can see how quickly a mix can come together. Now, this was just a basic template. I had all of the tracks ready in the folder and I had them all titled. This is a really big advantage. If you're actually going to be bringing tracks in, make sure you've got them all titled. 
and make sure that the, the titles are small and easy to work with. Now, I can do a video uh, later on on how I'm going to actually mix this song. It would probably be a really good idea. But I just wanted you guys to see how to set up a very basic template without existing tracks. Bring in your events or bring in your WAV files. It creates the events, creates the titles, creates the tracks, and then you can add your effects really easily through here. And the only thing that I should have done that I didn't is I didn't create the bus along with the uh, effects tracks. So uh, in a couple of videos, I'll show what I'm going to do with the effects. We'll actually mix this song a little bit. If you guys are interested in these WAV files for you to practice, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video.